Hello, Jack here at Fully Charged Live Amsterdam. I am mooching around in a bit of downtime and I've just stumbled across something quite interesting. And my new mate Pavo is going to tell me a little bit about it. Hello, yes, Pavo. Yes, hello. What hello. exactly are we looking at here? This is an adorable tiny truck. Yes, yes it is. And this is our project that we are developing for the past 14 months. Uh, we are a Polish company and our goal is to develop a car that is a utility vehicle. Uh, and its main goal is to work, yes? So this is a work utility vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, we can apply some devices at the front and the back. And the most uh, interesting fact is actually that uh, the load capacity is one and a half ton. So that's very unique in this category. What is the thing weigh? What is it? Yes, yes. Well, the vehicle itself weighs 980 kilos. And, and it can we... take over a ton. Yes, yes. It can take... That's quite impressive. Yes, that's impressive. That's, that's our... Uh, that was our goal. And so That's this... super cool. So it can actually carry more than its own yes. weight in the back. Yeah. Um, tell me about some of those use cases then. We can see it doing a bit of work on the video yes. here, but I imagine you've got a few roles in mind for yes, it. Yes, of course. So uh, the main purpose is to uh, develop some vehicle to industrial parks, very big industrial parks, so intra-logistics solutions, also to maintenance the city centers, like the parks, last mile deliveries, but also for the individual customers, like if you have a big farm, this is a perfect vehicle to use. Absolutely. The big farm. As we know, most vehicles are kind of too big at the moment. So actually yeah. it's nice to see that even delivery vehicles like this are being shrunk yes. down to a more suitable size for a yes. city. Yes, definitely. This is an L7 E category. So we are strict to the dimensions of the L7 E category, but we used it as much as we could. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this is a small vehicle, but it can carry a lot of weight and, well, for example, in the narrow streets, yep. in the city centers, it will do very fine. Yeah. Very impressive. In terms of the specs, in terms of battery size, oh, okay. range, so that sort of thing. So the battery here is 26 kilowatt hours. Okay. So the range pretty is... Pretty big, pretty big yes, battery. Yes, yeah. it's pretty big. The range is about 220 kilometers, mm -hmm. which is enough. Uh, top speed is. 70 kilometers per hour, which is also Ooh, that's quite quick. enough. Yeah. Yes, it's quite quick. And it can go 70 kilometers per hour with one and a half ton nice. on the back. So nice. that's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, what else? Well, uh, I think that's all about yeah. the specs. Yeah? Tell me the range again. 220, 220 kilometers. So we're not just thinking about running around the city center then. No, you actually no, can no. use it for sort of yes. mid distance deliveries as yes, well. Exactly. Yes, really exactly. Nice. Yes, exactly. What about some of those attachments then? I've seen a lawnmower fixture, which yes, is actually in the can, back here. We can attach the lawnmower, we can attach the snowplow, uh, sweeper for the streets. Also, we can attach something on the back, for yeah. example, the salt spreader. Yeah. Well, we can do anything you want. Oh, so it's sort of delivery vehicle, yes. street cleaner, tractor. Yes. Whatever you need, really. Yes, whatever you need. Exactly. We can build uh, the cab. On the, on the bag is the cargo, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you like, yes, mm -hmm. with the, some water tank, probably it's for the pressure washer, anything you can imagine. Extremely cool. This is a prototype? This is our first prototype. So what's the timeline now? Okay, so right now we are building four more. Mm -hmm. This year we will obtain the road certification and hopefully, right now we are very actively looking for some investor and hopefully the beginning of the next year we, are, we want to start the low serial production. I wish you luck, mate. Yeah.